OK, so in this video, I want to solve sine of 3x minus 54 degrees is equal to 0 0.25 uh, between 180 degrees and 540 degrees. OK, so the first thing to do is to inverse sine both sides. So we want to find the inverse sine of 0 0.25, which is 14 0.5 degrees to three significant figures, okay? So then we sketch the sine curve. Now I'm going to sketch it still between 0 and 360, okay? Because I want to find the two principal values. So I found one of them, and that's that one, so that's the 14.5 degrees. This one is 14.5 degrees away from the 180. So 180 take away the 14.5 gets me to 166 uh, degrees to 3 sig fig. So that is my second, oh sorry, 166 one six degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay? So what I then want to do is apply the transformation to both of these values. So if I start with this one, because that's the one I've got in my calculator, Add on the 54, then divide through by 3, and we get 73.2. So x is 73.2 degrees to 3 sig fig. And for the 14.5, add on the 54, divide through by 3, and so x is 22.8 degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay? Right, now, neither of these two answers here are between 180 and 540, so neither of them are included. Now, what I need to remember is that for sine of 3x minus 54, okay, the period of that function will be one-third of 360 degrees, so 120. So the period's 120 degrees. So what I need to do is I need to progressively add on 120 degrees to each of these until I've found the number of solutions that I need. So if I start off with the 22.8, okay, and I add on 120 degrees to that, right, then I get 143 degrees to 3 sig fig. Now, 143 isn't between 180 or 540 either, okay? So that's no good to us. So I need to add on another 120, okay? So that would be 263 to 3 sig fig. So adding on another 120 onto that. Now, 263 is between 180 and 540. So 263 is definitely one of the solutions that I want. If I add on another 120, I'm going to get to 383. Okay, 383 is between 180 and 540, so that's a solution. Add on another 120, I'm going to get to 503. Now, 503 is within the range as well. But if I add on another 120 to that, I'm going to get to 623, which is not between 180 and 540, so I can ignore that solution. So that's working with the 22.8. Now, if I do the same for 73.2, okay, adding on 120 to that will get me 193 to 3 sig fig. Okay. Now, 193 is within uh, the 180 to 540 range, so that's fine. Add on another 180 to that, so that will get me to 313. Uh, okay, so both of those or within, then add on another 120, I'm going to get to 433, that's fine. Now if I added on another 120, I'd get to 553, which is outside of the range. So I've now found six solutions which fit the 180 to 540 uh, that the question set. And I was expecting six, because between uh, 0 and 360, uh, well, this is a 360 degree range, right? So 
within 360 degrees, if I was just looking at sine of x equals 0.25, I would expect two solutions, okay, as I do here. But because we've now got a period of 120, I can fit three of those curves in, so I'd expect three times as many solutions. So I've now got the six. So actually, x can be, um, starting off with the smallest, 193, uh, then 263, uh, then 313, then 383, then 433, then 503, to three significant figures. Okay, and there are your six solutions.